السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب فیملی اینڈ آلسو ویلکم ٹو ایف ایف ایم پیک ٹیٹوریل سیریز ان دا پریویس ویڈیو آئی ول شو یو ہاؤ یو کین کنوٹ اے ویڈیو ان ٹو جی آئی ایف اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول شو یو ہاؤ یو کین اسپیڈ اپ اینڈ سلو ڈاؤن دی ویڈیو آلسو ہاؤ یو کین اسپیڈ اپ اینڈ سلو ڈاؤن دی آڈیو so before starting first of all i want to show you my this playlist and inside this playlist you will see i have a lot of videos related to flutter language and related to android language using java and also i make a course of python and you will see here the full course of python so if you want to get any knowledge of uh, these languages you can visit my playlist section and this is the ffmpeg tutorial whole series you can get any command from this series okay so let's start the code first i will tell you how you can speed up the video so before starting i show you the structure of my app so first i will share my mobile screen with you so this is the app and when i open you will see this type of button which is video to gif this is the last video code first i change this code so here is this video to gif button convert it to speech up the video and when user click on this button it calls a method which is video to gif also change this function name and convert it into okay so now change it to speed up video copy this function name and make some changes here which is speed up video so first you have the video which you want to speed up and I store my video into my download folders. So this is the path of my download folders. First I will show you the video and you will see here my file. Open it and you will see this download folder and after that okay so we have this video which is new video mp4 i write the name of this video and as this video is stored inside this download folder so that's why i concatenate this base path with this video name and then we store the video inside this video variable now 
we have a video inside this very very a video variable and now i want to store my newly created video inside my download folders so first of all you have to give the name to the newly created video and then you have to give the path where you want to store the video so i want to store the video inside the download folder that's why i write this base path here and after that give the name you can give any name here okay because it is the name of newly created video so now we write this condition which is if condition to check whether the user give the permission to read the video from the download and also it checks the download um, it check the write permission to write the newly created video to our download folder so if you are working in android or if you are working with flutter or if you are working with java you have to give the permission so this is our manifest file and you will see i write these permission here okay so i write these permission which is read permission and write permission you have to write this permission here and after that you have to write the library which is if you are working with java in android studio then you have to write the library in gradle.build but i am working with flutter so you have to write the library inside this file which is this ff git uh, ffm git flutter 5.1.0 this is the library okay so you have to write here <coughs> okay now let's move it to the code so first of all user check this permission if user allow then it execute this code otherwise it shows this open app settings okay we write this in else condition So when user allow to read the uh, video from the storage, then it execute this code. So we have to write the command to speed up the video here, and then I pass this variable to this execute function, which is the function of ffmpeg kit. Don't uh, don't worry about this ffmpeg kit because it is very similar to ffmpeg. If you are working and using the ffmpeg only, you can execute this command also. Okay, and if you are working with Linux, Java, Windows, you can use the, this command. Okay, because the command of ffmpeg is very very similar to all the languages. Okay, so first of all, you have to give the input you want to um, speed up. Okay. So we want to speed up this video. So I write the video here. And then you want to store the video. So I want to store the newly created video in my new video. Okay. So this is the basic format which is input and output. Now we have to write the code for speed up the video here. Okay. So now we have a filter colon v which shows this is the filter of the video and after that you write inverted commas and and write okay so now let's run this code And you will see this app is restarted. So here is the app and click on these buttons and you will see this is the button which is speed up the video and I click on this. So here is 
my download folder So when I click on this button, it shows me error. I think I make some error. Yes, we don't give the space here. Now again run this code. And now the app is restarted. Click on this video. Sorry this click on this button and now if I check our downloads you will see the video is not created I think we make some mistake ok so let's change this video name and pass some other video So we have another video which is output.mp4 and also change this name because I think I have a video with this name in my download folder my video and again restart this code. and run this app click on this button click on this speed up video button and you will see this is folder download folder and before starting this folder you will see here this task completed map message because it takes some time to complete this task so it display this task completed message here um, here is the message you will see it shows this task completed message because I write here if it convert the video successfully then it is show this message and if it gives some error then it shows this error message ok so it gives this task completed message now I will show you the download folder and you will see this is the download folder and it speed up the video ok open this and you will see it speed up this video and if I will show you the original video which is output ok this is the original video and you will see the speed of the video and you will notice the difference between these two videos it speed up the video ok so it only speed up the video ok it does not speed up the audio we have a different uh, command for speed up the audio so now let's write the code for the speed up of audio. So basically we remove it and then we have to give the audio uh, video and it speed up the 
uh, audio sound and save into the audio format okay that's why i write the mp3 extension here and i put the video here but it it speed up the audio sound and save the um, video as audio and it remove the video okay okay so now i change this to audio sound speed up and uh, i use this video so this is the video this is the new audio and write the code to speed up the audio so first of all we have to use the audio filter so this is the filter for audio a shows audio and for audio speed up and speed down we have this atom po okay and this is the value to speed up and speed down the audio you have to change according to your requirement and this is the vn which is used to remove the video from this audio now let's run this code and you will see the changes the app is restarted and now first of all run the app click on this button and I think I make some mistake okay sorry so the extension of the or uh, in the output is mp4 because we use this vn here to remove the audio let's run this code again app is restarted and click on this button now wait for some time because it takes some time and it shows this task completed message after that you have to open your um, output okay uh, if you uh, open the output before this task completed message the uh, video can't play and also the audio can't play and you will see uh, there is a text like video can't play into your video okay so you have to wait for some time see this task completed message and then open the output and now i open this output and you will see it is the audio note video and you have to play and you will see it speed up the audio and if i show you this document you will see here you can this command will make the video 8x faster and use 4 to make the video slow if you want to make the video slow you have the range from 4 to 8 and for audio you have to you have the range between 0 0.5 and 2 um, and when you use this 2 it completely double the speed of the audio okay and if you want less speed then you you use 0 0.5 to 2 okay this is the range so i hope you like this video please like this video and comments and also share this video with your friends see you soon allah hafiz